Hey, Zian, can you tell us more about Tonkinese? So Tonkinese is how the French people called us during the colonial time, um, the Northern Vietnamese. Do you consider yourself as a Tonkinese? I guess um, now, nowadays we don't really use those terms um, anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, um, we still have some similar terms in Vietnamese. What Tonkinese means in your series of exhibitions uh, right now in Vin Gallery? A song about a Tonkinese girl, which is a northern Vietnamese girl. It was written by two Frenchmen um, during the colonial time who was never uh, went to Vietnam ever. During that time, um, there were many uh, Frenchmen who were sent to colony countries like Vietnam. So the song played a role like propaganda song mm -hmm. to like it's like a way to advertise about a Vietnam beautiful Vietnam where you have beautiful landscape and submissive and beautiful women and how do you see the colonizations of uh, French affecting you in your artwork mm. uh, quite a lot yes me personally I think colonization plays a very important role in our um, globalization at the mm. moment Everything shifted and changed after all those adventures and all those uh, concurring. People start, started to moving around, move around, and, and also the export and uh, exchanging the goods, the plant. So it's actually, colonization affects um, our nowadays society, our environment. And, and I think also our behaviors mm. to what different country or different people. Mm -hmm. So you see that the colonization from France is affecting a lot in Vietnam today as well. The colonization of the French affect, um, affected Vietnam a lot because it's one of the most important um, colonization in our country. We have our, um, the writing language after the colonization and all the urbanization and all the urban planning or the administration system in Vietnam uh, sort of you know be more official and established after the French colonization. So as a Hanoian that uh, colonized by uh, French people and I knew that you flew to Paris for a few months residency when you are in Paris how do you feel? Yeah it's weird because when I was in Paris, I, well, the, my project in Paris actually at first was about um, 20,000 uh, Vietnamese soldiers who was uh, sent to France during the World War uh, One. I also read a lot of journals of um, the Vietnamese who, who were sent to France during that time. Mm -hmm. and, and somehow I find I kind of relate to them a little bit mm -hmm. about um, how Paris or how France is very different from where we are from. I got the chance to visit um, the um, agricultural um, jardin. There was um, there is a tropical jardin uh, garden um, kind of outside in the outcast of um, Paris, yes. and over there there's still the ruins of the yeah. Claudio exposition, uh, exhibition in 1907. I was kind of um, very emotional when I came there because in that small park, garden, you can still see the Indochina pavilion, um, Morocco pavilion, like all the remnants and, and the, the, the ruined architectures. I was very fascinated by these projects of you, actually. So what is the inspirations behind that lead you to these uh, projects in the beginning? I, I have a feeling that um, the attitude of Vietnamese toward the French colonial time uh, nowadays is kind of vague and not that clear. Now, there, there is some sort of, you know, um, like a romantic um, nostalgia <laughs> to what that, that name. I think overall in overall Vietnam, uh, there are still many restaurants with the name of Indochina or Tonkin, or Ko Chin Chin, all those colonial names 
it seems like the young people now in Vietnam, we like they are proud of um, the colonial architecture of Hanoi. It's something like significant about Hanoi, like the beauty of Hanoi that people want to preserve. And and when people think of that that time, they think of the lover. I kind of want to explore deeper about that um, that past, how we come up with that constructed um, nostalgia mm -hmm. of the um, Indochina nowadays. In Paris and then to back in Hanoi, how you compare this city after all this finish, after all these years? I think it's very difficult to um, to compare Hanoi and, and Paris because um, these are two different cities. When you come to Paris and in Hanoi, there's a sense of a nostalgia, like yeah, it's, it's totally different. But what um, is the similarity that you found? We have um, similar characters, characteristic in a way. Something very, very like embracing the history, embracing the um, traditional culture, and embracing the, the privacy and a very slow pace. Because when you, when you look at um, Hanoi, when you compare Sa uh, Saigon and Hanoi, you can see, yeah, you can see all those. Yeah. Thank you, Yan. Thank you for your time. Thank you.